Water quality has been a top priority in the city of Pensacola for the past several years. There have been some significant concerns as to the water quality being released into Bayou Tahar. City officials took steps to address these concerns to improve and treat stormwater runoff. In May of 2000, a study was done on the water quality and stormwater management of Pensacola. The study found that residential development, current drainage systems, roadway construction and use, and boating had contributed to a decrease in water quality. The study, however, gave recommendations for how to reverse these effects. Once the city received the recommendations, the question arose about how these improvement plans would be funded. As a result, the stormwater maintenance fee was established. So, what exactly is a stormwater maintenance fee? The stormwater maintenance fee can be found listed on your annual tax notice. The fee on your notice is simply labeled stormwater. So what does this fee actually do? The stormwater utility fee is an assessment imposed by the city on property based on the amount of impervious area on the site. Examples of impervious areas are driveways, building footprints, and parking lots. How is my fee determined? There are four tiers and it's based on the size of the house and the amount of impervious area on the parcel. For commercial properties, it's done by the square feet of the impervious area on site. How much has been collected so far? The city has collected almost $32 million since 2001 for stormwater management improvements. What are these improvements? These improvements are Vortex stormwater treatment units. Vortex treats stormwater by separating trash, debris, sediment, and hydrocarbons from runoff around Carpenter's Creek. What happens here is that the water, the uh, Dirty water, storm water, enters the, uh, in the screening chamber on the front of the baffle box where the large floatables and leaves and things like that are removed. And then from that point on, the water is filtered through the baffle box and the suspended solids are settled out of the storm water uh, to where it ultimately discharges out of the backside of the treatment unit in a much cleaner state. It's easy to inspect and maintain the vaults. Maintenance is accomplished using a vacuum truck that inserts into the unit to remove dirt and debris. You can see we've got some materials on the ground here that have been removed from the vault. Uh, the vault removes the materials in stages. Uh, the initial removal that it does is your floatables, uh, your, your large solids and pollutants as you can see on the ground here. Uh, also, the next thing that is settled out of the storm water is uh, the coarse sands and dirt. And the, uh, the final settlement that takes place in one of the uh, treatment units, as you can see, is the organics uh, and the suspended solids in the stormwater. So, as you can tell, you can see the, the degree of pollute removal that uh, the devices that we put in the ground are doing and uh, the benefit that they're providing for the uh, stormwater treatment program. According to the American Society of Civil Engineers, stormwater treatment units, on average, remove 74% of total suspended solids, such as plastic bottles, cups, and other disposables, 33% of oil and grease from vehicles and watercraft, and other solids down to a scale of 50 microns. This particular unit, we were able to set it beside an existing uh, stormwater pond. Uh, but historically, we had issues with this pond draining because of the sediment that captured the bottom of the pond. After we put the unit in, which removes the pollutants and the sediment prior to discharge into the pond, uh, it's cut our maintenance down on the, having to uh, uh, remove sediment from the pond tenfold. Uh, the pond works well uh, simply because it's got a treatment drain process going on with the vault removes pollutants uh, and sediment from the stormwater prior to going into the pond. Now the pond actually acts as a, a polishing or a tertiary treatment uh, part of the infrastructure uh, for the system. The stormwater assessment study that was completed in May of 2000 
gave the city of Pensacola a game plan on how to move forward to address stormwater runoff and infrastructure. These stormwater vaults is an essential recommendation from this study. These vaults cost anywhere from $50,000 to $150,000 depending on the unit type and size. Offset by the stormwater utility fee, 83 of these vaults have been installed with 21 serving Carpenters Creek. The money that the city of Pensacola has put towards treating stormwater runoff is starting to have a huge positive impact. As a result of these treatment units and other methods, there has been an approximate 40% improvement in water quality for Bayou Tahar over the past decade. We continue to seek out ways to address stormwater infrastructure and treating stormwater runoff here in the city of Pensacola. This is a strategy that we plan to maintain. Thank you for watching.